I'm excited. Good. I was good. really, I was really excited to meet you. I Thank was. You. Good. I, I posted on my Facebook this morning. I get to interview the mayor today. This is great. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Bozarth with Your Fellow Americans. Today we have the privilege to be with Mayor Sly James discussing topics around race, immigration, and the American dream. How's it going, Mayor Sly? It's great to see you, Nathaniel. How's everything going? It's going great. Nice to be here with you today. Yeah. <laughs> Your Fellow Americans is a project asking questions about race, immigration, and the American dream. We're just trying to figure out what it means to be American for as many different folks as possible. Uh, yeah, but we always had somebody at the intersection here trying to make sure that uh -huh. we stop cars. But I tell you what, it, it was pretty freaking scary. <laughs> <laughs> I did, did it you, a few times and then said, nah, I don't think so. Did you, you said you skateboarded too, right? Uh, well, it wasn't really skateboard. We made like, we just have like, pieces of wood that we'd nail together and then put lawnmower tires on and oh, and God. kind of like and then we'd lay down on them a lot of times to the luge yeah it was stupid <laughs> that, that does sound scary it was stupid <laughs> there used to be a tree down here and i can tell you quite honestly i ran into that tree more than once <laughs> um, so this is the old neighborhood you, you uh, grew up here i did i did used to run these streets was it, what was it, what's different about it between now and, and then, growing up here? Um, you know, you know, it's a school day, so I don't know how many kids are on this block right now, but when I was growing up, there were kids in just about every house. Mm -hmm. um, and we all knew each other, and the parents all knew each other. And you can see the porches here. All, the, everybody used to be on their porch, and there was basically a general rule. When the porch light went on in the evening, that meant that you had to be on the block uh, in front of the house until somebody told you to come in. We knew each other, we hung out together, and uh, it was a place where everybody took care of each other. We did have a few bad elements um, down on that corner by the stop sign. Um, I was approached by a, a guy who was, um, I think probably into drugs, trying to convince me and another one of my friends here to be corner boys for him, and mm. lady down at the house saw him and went out and ran him off. It was pretty interesting how she Good bullied her. this this guy and how he backed off when she did. That's awesome. Didn't see him again. Awesome. How you doing, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? What, you get it started? Oh, no, not yet. We working on it, though. Yeah? You live on this block, do you? I did, man. Right there, 4425. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. See, this was the house here. 4525. Right here. Actually, Funny thing about it, see that, that window up there is the attic. This was this is a really small little bungalow, two bedrooms on the on the right, one on the right side. This is the living room here in front. I had two brothers when we were living here, and we all were in the back bedroom. And um, I used to wait until they go to sleep, and then go up in the attic and read Doc Savage books at night. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was something that I looked forward to, and always did look forward to. It's my way of getting away from them. Yeah, this is it, 4425 Mongol.